Hey guys, this is Hayden from Patrick Craig Academy, and today's lesson is going to be on the difference between who versus whom. This is something that a lot of people miss because it's such a minute detail, but it's actually not that hard, and we have a super easy way to distinguish between the two. If you're looking to follow along in a packet, I'm looking at the ACT Grammar Usage Packet, and the lesson starts on page 14. So, who versus whom? One letter is the only difference between the two, and a lot of people sometimes will just pick whom because they think it sounds fancier and the test is looking for fancy English. Please don't do that. We do have one rule that is going to make it really easy to decide whether you need to use who or whom. It's called the he, him rule, or the he, him test. And all we're going to do is form a question out of the sentence given. So in this case, we're given the sentence, I am a person who will shop for hours if time allows. So all we're going to do is pretty much stop the sentence when we see the who or the whom and flip that and turn it into our question. So in this one, our question, we're going to stop it at the who. So our question is, who will shop for hours? Then all you're going to do is answer that question. You're going to answer it using he, she, they, it, or her, them, and him. If you answer it using he, she, it, or they, then your answer is going to be who in the sentence. If you answer your question using him, her, or them, the M's, with the exception of her, just memorize that one, then your answer is going to be whom. I've bolded he and him because if you do just focus on the he or him, and that's the easiest way for you to remember, then go ahead and do that. Even if it's a girl subject, you can answer with he, him, just because the M is super easy to distinguish in that whom answer. So let's go through some examples of um, sentences together. If we look on our right at our sentence about Annabelle, the sentence is, Annabelle is a student who will write the letter. So we'll stop the sentence at the who and say, who will write the letter? Answer it with, she will write the letter. That does not end in an M or that one exception word, the her. We wouldn't say, her will write the letter. So who is correct in the sentence at this point? If we look below, we have the sentence, I do not know whom to vote for. So. Sometimes you will have to rearrange the words. It won't be word for word when you're creating your question. So in this one, we're going to rearrange a little bit, but keep the essence, which is, whom should I vote for? The answer is, I should vote for him, which ends in an M. So whom is correct versus I should vote for he, which is incorrect. It doesn't make sense. If you're into knowing the technicalities of English, and that's a better way for you to think about this, you can think of, um, you can remember who and whom this way. Who is going to be introduced is going to be used to introduce phrases or clauses versus whom, which is always going to be the object of something. Usually the object of a preposition is what we're going to see. So in these sentences, she was the woman who started the company. Who started the company is describing our woman. That's a clause. Versus he is the teacher for whom I taught. Whom is the object of the preposition for, making the prepositional, prepositional phrase for whom. So if that's an easier way to remember, you can think of it that way as well. Here's one other thing, though. Whenever you see a quantity word, such as all of, many of, most of, plus a word, plus the of, which I actually already added in, quantity word plus of, you're always going to use whom when it follows directly after. So we've got the girls, all of whom were wearing blue, arrived at school, our quantity word all, our preposition of, we know we're going to have that whom. Also, like we mentioned on the last slide, when it's the object of a preposition, always use whom. I don't know in whom I trust. I don't know with whom I'm meeting. In whom and with whom are our prepositional phrases, so we know that whom is correct. These are some practice questions that you can do in the packet if you're following along on pages 12 and 13. Answers are in the back of the packet, but we're actually gonna do a sample question together. So if you wanna pause the video, you can do that. But once you have resumed again, you will see the sentence reads, it was exhausting to spend every day in the hot summer temperature while pretending to be a person who had lived in a different country and century. So let's just do the same thing we've been doing since we started this video, form our question. Who lived in a different country and century? All I did was stop the sentence right when I saw that who or whom. And also, side note, it doesn't matter whether the question that you form begins with who or whom. All that matters is the answer that you're going to get, and you're going to get the same answer from either of those starting words in your own question that you form. So we answer, who lived in a different country and century? Well, he lived in a different country or century. That doesn't end in an M, so we know that who is going to be correct in this sentence. We can narrow that down to choices B and D. 
And now we're just dealing with verb tense. And the answer choice that actually maintains the correct verb tense with the rest of the sentence is answer choice D. If you need further explanation, here they are, but we got it down to the who with our he, him test, and then simply match the verb tense that we were trying to maintain throughout the sentence. Here is a challenge sample question, so same deal. If you want to pause the video, go ahead. Once you unpause to read, you will see that this says, although I had never met more of the people who walked with me, I felt a kinship with them. We're going to do, it might seem a little repetitive, but this is what works. Form a question. Who walked with me? That's the only part of the sentence that we really need to understand which, whether we're going to use who or whom. We answer that, we're going to say, they walked with me. We wouldn't say them walked with me, so who is the correct word to use in this sentence? So now, same thing, we can get it down to two answer choices, choices A and C, and now it's a matter of, do we want to say, although I had never met more of the people who walked with me, or although I had never met most of the people who walked with me? In this case, most is going to be correct. Here are some further explanations if you need them, because more is incorrect and whom is incorrect. The only one that has matching a matching correct answer choice is C, most of the people who. So that's all for who versus whom. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask one of the tutors. And thank you guys.